at the time that we were getting engaged, a lot of my friends were getting engaged and I mean certainly there was there was some ring envy going on. I had an idea that you know you're supposed to go out and buy this ring and you have to spend all this money and I was just out of college and didn't have a lot of money saved up so it was definitely something uh, I had to think about hard you know. My mother had actually said to me, oh, you know, your grandmother has a beautiful ring. You should tell Ian to use it. I called her grandmother, which is the first time I'd independently contacted her, and just said that I wanted to come up and have lunch. I had absolutely no idea that's what he was doing. So my first thought was, oh my God, this is the most beautiful ring ever. My second thought was, oh my gosh, how much money did he blow on this ring? And then my third thought was realizing that it was my grandmother's and just being really moved. So what kind of engraving pattern are you thinking? Just like that. There's a lot of people that are part of the hipster movement that are really into vintage. The majority of the market is mass-produced jewelry. With heirloom jewelry, you actually get something that's a little bit different. It's one of a kind, it's handmade, and you're not going to find it anywhere else. It's very prevalent to see people wanting to use their heirloom stones, their heirloom rings. Or it's very common for me to see someone say, I really love my grandmother's ring, I want you to make an exact replica. A lot of the reason that people like antique jewelry is because of the intricate details, the thin filigree lines, the etchings, the uh, mill grain details. All of those little details in the metal are extremely time consuming. So it's a challenge for us as jewelers to create something that is going to be within a budget and have that antique look. Uh, it's not about a financial thing, it's about a ring that has meaning. A lot of what I, you know, I think about my grandmother is kind of the relationship she had with my grandfather, which was one that was very loving and playful. My grandfather passed away a few years ago, so like it felt even more you know, special to me that this ring that was such a big part of their relationship is you know, the start of our marriage.